Uh, hi, Alex. Um, uh, today, you're going to explain what's happening with the sunflower seed market, uh, which appears to be moving. Is that right? Yes, finally. <laughs> um, uh, we import, well, sunflower is grown throughout the world, Argentina, USA, Bulgaria, China, um, everywhere. It's quite a prolific crop. Um, we namely import Chinese and Bulgarian origins and uh, for the last two years Bulgaria has produced um, a good sized crop and has offered at incredibly competitive prices. Um, much, much cheaper levels than Bakery Chinese or Bakery <coughs> USA. And uh, the crop in uh, both euro and pound terms for the last eight or nine months has steadily declined. Okay. Um, the crop has been good, um, but prices have just dropped because they've had a lot of raw material in the silos okay. as they approach new crop. And uh, 2014 crop for Bulgaria also looks really quite good. When is the crop? Uh, about August time, September okay. time. Oh, okay. yeah. um, so the silos are full and uh, they've been shipping um, without issue. Okay. But in the last uh, two or three weeks, uh, there have been indications to suggest that we sort of hit the bottom in Euro terms. Okay. Um, the two main reasons are that um, globally agricultural commodities seem to have sort of started to peak up. Now we don't okay. trade wheat or soya, but mm -hmm. if you were to look on any internet site uh, for agricultural prices, you'd see the graph for wheat and for soya going up. Yeah. And, and this sort of affects some. Well, well, this is what happens. Farmers make a decision as to what to plant. They look at how much uh, hassle it is to grow it what the yield's going to be and what the price of that stuff is. So if things like soybean, which is, for instance, very easy to grow, doesn't require much label, uh, labor is uh, good value, your farmers might switch to that and to be still growing sunflower, they might need to be paid okay. more. Correct, yeah. Um, uh, so that's one factor for the, for the recent rise. And in real, uh, the second time, sorry, is uh, that um, Ukraine and Russia also produce large quantities of sunflower seeds, um, namely for oil crushing. So it's in shell. Uh, they don't have a hulling operation. As far as I'm aware, hulling mm. operations are particularly I don't think big. they consume much. Yeah. But the crop is about 10% down, apparently. Right. Um, and so this is this has also contributed to a, a sort of a rise in sunflower oil prices. Okay. Uh, which has obviously affected the sunflower raw material prices as well. Um, now, the rise isn't as, um, in real terms, isn't as shocking as, say, pumpkin seeds, which we talked about has gone up maybe eight or nine hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gone up maybe in euros. This is a volume commodity. Yeah, yeah. sunflower's gone up maybe fifty euros, okay. but that's the equivalent of like ten or twelve percent. Yeah, which yeah. Is so it's a lot of money. Hefty yeah. in, in uh, percentage terms. Um, so we feel that uh, the bottom has been reached. Right. Uh, and we suggest booking sunflower seeds. Okay. Actually. The ship is already leaving. Yes. yes. Right. But unlike uh, many of the commodities that I talk to people about, sunflower is actually gently rising as opposed to you wake up the next day and you find that things have just gone yeah bizarre. yeah yeah it's a bigger commodity yeah. so it's going to move slower that's mainly that's news okay. for bulgaria yeah and um, china wise um exports for chinese confectionery grade are quite quite steady actually okay uh are we going to are there any effects here due to this uh russian ec type problem the because we're quite near Ukraine now, aren't we? Uh, yes, but uh, that's not really affecting affecting uh, prices for us. Okay. A lot of the Ukrainian material uh, goes to Turkey actually for crushing. Okay. Um, All right. I'm not aware of much of it being traded directly into Europe. Okay. It either goes okay. to Russia. So only indirect effects. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, thanks very much, Alex.